I think this technology as well, these small cameras and these low-key microphones and the fact that you can have a crew sometimes of just myself recording sound. I'm not a, the best sound recordist, but I am available and I'm affordable. And, um, and I really, uh, in all seriousness, cut down on one less person in the room. And it's just kind of like a us or them situation, I think, sometimes, or it's like nature photography or something like that. You don't want to scare the thing you're supposed to be shooting away. And if you are going to, say, film a family, and all that they're really doing that day is dealing with the fact that all these film people are in their house, and they're exhausted by it, and stressed by it, and overwhelmed by it, you can't actually film the thing that you're supposed to be filming. It's a little ironic because I'm sitting here and there's lots of you out there, but it's really hard. And it's so much easier when you know, you're not confronted with lots of sort of burly, intimidating people kind of looking at you. You know, if it feels very um, uh, intimate, then you're much more inclined to share the difficult stuff to share, which is actually what you really want people to be doing is dishing that really, uh, you know, vulnerable, difficult, um, deep stuff. So that idea of being as light on your feet as possible and un unobtrusive and, and um, sort of low key in your presence that people can genuinely uh, get on with things while you are around is really important. There's a, a couple of amazing dinner scenes in the crash reel, for example, and it was just myself doing sound and Nick Higgins, who's a fantastic verite photographer, um, shooting. And I think it looks like there are six cameras and a whole big crew, but the reality was there were just two of us and um, we managed to capture that dinner, I think, really as, as close as you possibly could to the fact that there would be no film crew there at all. And, and part of it's also timing. I think if you show up at the right moment where stuff is going down and people can't help but have those sparks fly and stuff needs to get decided. And if you're kind of strategic about when you show up, I think that's also important. So some of it's timing um, because you need to be in those moments where the drama is going to be happening. People are not going to be able to stop themselves from actually doing the stuff that you want to be filming.